Is Wizard 101 worth playing in the year 2022? That is the question that I'm about to answer, my good friend. First and foremost, I want to say thank you for tuning into the video. Thank you for clicking it. I hope my thumbnail was clickbaity enough. So I appreciate you guys clicking it. And if you aren't subscribed to the channel and you enjoy this video, that means that you, 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 you subscribe. Okay? It doesn't make sense to enjoy a video and not subscribe. I'm just saying. Anyways, is Wizard 101 worth playing in the year of 2022? Let's find out. Let's be honest. Usually when someone talks about is a game worth playing here, there, or the third, it usually boils down to what type of game it is, what it can offer to the player, the longevity of the game, the end game, the beginning game. Is it going to grasp your attention? Is it going to keep you playing for days on end? That's what it means to be, is it worth? Now, to be honest, everybody has their own different takes. Everybody has their own different taste when it comes to video games and if it's worth playing. So usually the people that are watching these videos of is it worth playing are people that have played the game before and are thinking about, hey, should I come back to Wizard 101 in the year 2022? Has the game changed at all to the point where it's going to interest me again like it did five, four, three years ago? Now, personally, I'm a Wizard 101 player that has multiple accounts, multiple max Wizards. I've played the game for countless of uh, hundreds of hours. I think I got like maybe almost 2,000 hours in the game. And uh, to be honest, I haven't played the game recently like I have in the past. Not saying that you shouldn't be excited for the future because I am excited for the future of Wizard 101 in the year 2022. There's been some things that Wizard 101 has done to hint at things that they're thinking about doing in the future to just testing out the waters. One of those things being is free to play. Now free to play is a thing that's popped up in the Wizard 101 community that everybody would be excited about because let's be honest, the history of Wizard 101 is being one of those histories not very good in the in the case of you know grabbing in the players pockets with the high cost of uh, membership with the advertising of a free-to-play game when to actually play 90 percent of the game you have to have membership um and the fact that they're thinking about actually going free to play like legit no membership at all is actually pretty exciting for the future of wizard 101 this means two very distinct things one of the first things that it means is that they're no longer going to depend on memberships for financial revenue inside of wizard 101 which also might mean they're going to add additional content to get that revenue things like uh things like more gears that you you can get from the crown shop to buy things like more emotes you can get from the crown shop maybe different types of mounts you know stuff like that just quality of life uh cosmetic items that they might implement into the game that we don't see today that we could get from the crown shop so they can get more money from the crown shop but it also means more content for us players which is a good thing not only that we also might see a boost in players considering that the game going free to play i don't know about you but anytime a game goes free to play i just see a, a an increase in players which is a good thing for MMORPG, more people to run into, more quests to do with friends, more people to meet in the MMORPG, and that's what an MMORPG is all about, is the interaction that you have with other players playing the exact same game you're playing. That's just one of the things that I'm excited about in the future of 2022 Wizard 101. Another thing that I'm excited about is the fact that the Wizard 101 developers have been a lot more active within the community of the game itself. We're talking about they're doing live streams for not only Wizard 101, but also Pirate 101. We're talking about out them constantly updating pvp to change the meta in pvp keep the players active keep keep them on their toes for what has to come you know what i mean one thing changes i gotta get the meta another thing changes my meta changes you know what i mean it keeps them on their toes and keeps them guessing on what's about to happen and the changes that's going to happen within the pvp world not only that pve players are getting more constant updates on new worlds i think they just dropped lemuria like a week or two before i even dropped this video which is pretty amazing a new world has dropped that means new gear new level new pets new spells that's a lot of new content that they're dropping which means they're actively developing on the game and they're not going to be stopping for the year of 2022. Another thing that was hinted at a few months ago was Wizard 101 coming to mobile and console devices. I think that would be amazing. This is on the line with free to play considering that there are MMORPGs on mobile devices and on console devices, but I don't know about you, but I don't know a single MMORPG on either platforms that requires a subscription, which means if Wizard 101 one plans to go on console or mobile 
I believe that also means they're going to get rid of their subscription service that is required to play Wizard 101, which is a thumbs up all around. That's a lot of more players that they can interact with if they go to mobile and they go to console. That's a lot more that you guys don't. It, we're talking thousands hundreds of thousands of potential players here so yes considering that the wizard 101 development team is being active considering that free to play might be a thing considering that mobile and console platforms might be a thing um considering all of these various options that could happen in the year 2022 is wizard 101 worth playing in the year of 2022 honestly truthfully i think 2022 might potentially be the best year for wizard 101 if they play their cards right. None of these things are confirmed. We don't know if these things are actually going to happen or not. But considering the information that we have received previous, I believe there's a decent chance that these things might actually happen. So yes, if you're considering playing Wizard 101 in the year 2022, if you're a previous player of Wizard 101, you're considering coming back to the game in the year 22, I think that it is a good chance that these things might happen. So if these are of interest to you, I think you might want to hop back into the game or at least wait until these things happen and then hop back into the game there's no need to rush you know we all have time so you know yeah anyways i hope you guys found this video informative and i hope that you know i might have changed your mind or swayed your mind into playing wizard 101 in the year 22 maybe i incited you a little bit or whatever um but if i did and you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to hit that subscribe button my friends i really appreciate you guys coming to the video and liking it and everything like that so yeah i appreciate it you guys have a good one peace